inspiring performance of the national anthem by fifth grader Maya Embrock set the tone for the night when the Toledo Rockets hosted Mac West leaders Central Michigan. The Midnight Blue and Gold started hot thanks to Brene Harris and J.M. Bravo Harriet. The duo combined for 11 points in the opening quarter, giving Toledo a 19-11 lead. That eight-point margin would be the highest of the game as things tightened up. A late CMU three closed the gap to 19-14 at the end of the first quarter. The Chippewas took that momentum into the second, taking a three-point lead halfway through. The back-to-back three-pointers by Jada Woody and Ana Capitosto put the Rockets back in front. Toledo connected on almost 60% of their shots in the first half, and a Sophie Reeker layup in the final minute made it a 38-35 score at halftime. Out of the break, the game remained close as there were a total of 13 ties and eight lead changes in the contest. UT did, however, stretch the lead to seven before closing out the third quarter up 57-53. Brene Harris continued to pace the Rockets with 16 points through three quarters, but the final quarter was Kayla McIntyre's time to shine. The freshman was held to only two points in the first half and had eight entering the fourth quarter. Central Michigan tied the game up at 66 with less than three minutes to go, and that was when the Toledo Natives stepped up. McIntyre would score the next four baskets for the Rockets, but CMU answered every single one of them. With a score tied at 72, Toledo would have the ball for the last shot. J.M. Bravo Harriet will drive but misses the layup, but McIntyre's there with the go-ahead put back. Toledo will go on to win 76-72 and clinches a first-round bye in the MAC tournament. McIntyre finished the night with a career-high 18 points, hitting 9 of 11 shots. The Rockets close out the regular season on Saturday at 2 o'clock against Ball State. Ana Capitosto and Brene Harris will be honored for Senior Day during pregame festivities. See you at the game.